Hemolyze is a euro from the Greek I plus or minus a one quarter I one quarter I plus or minus meaning blood, and I I, I florin I to the first I meaning a loosing, setting free, or releasing a euro is the rupturing of erythrocytes and the release of their contents into surrounding fluid. Hemolysis may occur in vivo or in vitro. In vivo, in vivo hemolysis can be caused by a large number of medical conditions, including many gram-positive bacteria, some parasites, some autoimmune disorders, some genetic disorders, or blood with too low a solute concentration. Streptococcus Many species of the genus Streptococcus cause hemolyses. Streptococcal bacteria species are classified according to their hemolytic properties. Alpha hemolytic species, including S. pneumoniae rau, Streptococcus mitis, S. mutans, and S. salivarius, oxidize the iron in the hemoglobin. Beta hemolytic species, including S. pyogens and S. agalactiae, completely rupture the red blood cells. Gamma hemolytic, or non hemolytic, Species do not cause hemolysis and rarely cause illness. Enterococcus The genus Enterococcus includes lactic acid bacteria formerly classified as gamma hemolytic group D in the genus Streptococcus, including E. faracillus, E. foesium, E. durans, and E. avium. Staphylococcus Staphylococcus is another gram-positive Korch C. S. aureus, the most common cause of staph infections, is frequently hemolytic on BA. Parasitic hemolysis, because the feeding process of the plasmodium parasites damages red blood cells, malaria is sometimes called parasitic hemolysis in medical literature. Hemolytic disease of the newborn. Hemolytic disease of the newborn is an autoimmune disease resulting from the mother's antibodies crossing the placenta to the fetus. Hemolytic anemia. Because in vivo hemolysis destroys the red blood cells. In uncontrolled chronic or severe cases it can lead to hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic crisis, a hemolytic crisis, or hyperhemolytic crisis, is characterized by an accelerated rate of red blood cell destruction leading to anemia, jaundice, and reticulocytosis. Hemolytic crises are a major concern with sickle cell disease and G6PD deficiency. In vitro in vitro hemolysis can be caused by improper technique during collection of blood specimens, by the effects of mechanical processing of blood, or by bacterial action in cultured blood specimens. From specimen collection, most causes of in vitro hemolysis are related to specimen collection. Difficult collections, unsecure line connections, contamination, and incorrect needle size as well as improper tube mixing and incorrectly filled tubes are all frequent causes of hemolyses. Excessive suction can cause the red blood cells to be smashed on their way through the hypodermic needle owing to turbulence and physical forces. Such hemolysis is more likely to occur when a patient's veins are difficult to find or when they collapse when blood is removed by a syringe or a modern vacuum tube. Experience and proper technique are key for any phlebotomist or nurse to prevent hemolyses. In vitro hemolysis during specimen collection can cause inaccurate laboratory test results by contaminating the surrounding plasma with the contents of hemolyzed red blood cells. For example, the concentration of potassium inside red blood cells is much higher than in the plasma and so an elevated potassium level is usually found in biochemistry tests of hemolyzed blood. In vitro hemolysis can also occur in a blood sample because of prolonged storage or storage in incorrect conditions. From mechanical blood processing during surgery, in some surgical procedures where substantial blood loss is expected, machinery is used for intraoperative blood salvage. A centrifuge process takes blood from the patient, washes the red blood cells with normal saline, and returns them to the patient's blood circulation. Hemolysis may occur if the centrifuge rotates too quickly a euro essentially this is hemolysis occurring outside of the body. Unfortunately, increased hemolysis occurs with massive amounts of sudden blood loss, because the process of returning a patient's cells must be done at a correspondingly higher speed to prevent hypertension, pH imbalance, and a number of other hemodynamic and blood level factors. From Bacteria Culture Visualizing the physical appearance of hemolysis in cultured blood samples may be used as a tool to determine the species of various gram-positive bacteria infections. See also, 
hemolysin, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, references. External links, effects of hemolysis on clinical specimens, hemolysis at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings.